Hi. Um, well, first off, congratulations to American Pharaoh and Floyd Mayweather. I mean, I know, well, I don't know exactly what the, uh, I don't think the odds for American Pharaoh were that big. I mean, then to be fair, James Corden randomly, and James Corden and uh, um, Reggie Watts right, randomly picked up starts. So anybody, so was that, uh, if you ask me, is anybody guess in terms of the Manny Money Pacquiao fight? I know that. Uh, let's see. Floyd was more popular in the world, and yet hadn't lost anything. Less, hadn't lost a single match so far in his career. Surprised. I wonder if anybody did anybody beat him. Well, I know of a dancer, some dancers that have, you know, celebrity dancers. Anyway, um, also, of course, congratulations to William and Kate, second child, it's a girl, fourth in line to the throne, we don't even know the name yet. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I won't really, go for the next 24 hours, even, but, um, Anyway, I wonder if I should have. <laughs> I know. How, how's this for last minute change? Hi, I'm Justin Casillo, and welcome to the Justin. I'm, well, Justin, welcome to Hi, Justin. Hey, what are we going to talk about today? Well, let's see. Um, that's yeah, that's that's my Grace Helbig in training. Anyway. Um, Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. Who else did Dance with the Stars of Senior Floyd Mayweather was on? Anyway, um. Um, I thought, yeah, let's just, um. Yeah, okay, going back to. Kate, William and Kate, second child girl, girl, we don't know the name yet. Um, well, on one, on one point I'm happy that she was born on the same day of somebody that I know. Um, I don't know if that will mean anything for him in the years to come. I mean, I did, I did try to hopefully win a tea set from Bigelow, but I predicted that the baby would probably be born like April 20. Kind of like his brother. I was, I was hoping it's more like I don't know April twenty six, and I have a because I have a brother who's born April twenty six. I'm July twenty six. Um, let's see, the son was born July twenty second. Thought maybe the baby would be born April twenty second. Now I can't even remember exactly what year I picked. You know, it's funny because Boyd is actually about the same age as me. But let me say. Um, No, going in, he's the. I, I, sorry. Um, yeah, back to Floyd. I know, of course, he's the richest professional athlete out there ev ever of, of any sport, regardless. Um, well, I'd like to know if he's. Wow, yeah, his boxing record 48 wins, 26 by knockout, no losses, no draws, no contests. Wow. Five feet eight, and he has a reach of six feet. Well, I think my, I'm thinking I'm slightly longer, but well, that's in five weight classes. He's, I know that uh, Floyd was. I'm sorry. I know that uh, Manny was seven, and he only saw, and he only has a bronze medal, almost 20 years ago, as a featherweight. Anyway, um, I don't know where you can go from here. It's the thing for Floyd. Alright, um, hmm. 
You know, this also reminds me of all this talk. I remember this one time Conan was going to have a joke. He's going to tell a joke about Floyd Mayweather, but it got, but he it didn't so much get caught. He just he just looked at the cue card and decided and personally removed it. What well, was probably like I don't know one about two years ago I think when he of course when he's since he since he's been on TBS. I'd never seen anybody in in, in, like, in all of the years of watching late night history act physically like start off with the joke and then physically decide to not finish finish it. I mean the punchline is somewhere out there. It got discarded. I wonder if it can ever be recovered. I wonder if it, I mean if anybody out there that was in that studio audience knows exactly what I'm talking about, hopefully uh, somebody that's was behind the scenes knows what the um, punchline was. I remember some joke about Manny it was some joke about Floyd Mayweather, and it, was, and it was at the time that he, um, um, right around the time that he served, had, had to start his sentence or do community service, I don't know, so it was like two, three years ago. Yeah, well, um, well. Okay, um, let me think here, I'm trying to remember, yeah, fifth season of Dance with the Stars with Karina Smirnoff, you have the fourth couple eliminated, finishing ninth, um, I'm trying to remember, um, uh, That was in your Helio Castroneras one? Really? Okay, yeah, yeah. First was jo Josie Moran. So he's so he's better than model actress Josie Moran, model actor surfer Albert Reed and and Wayne Newton. But somehow Mark Cub he edged out Mark Cuban. <laughs> So I wonder, I'm trying to remember, I wonder who did Mark Cuban put his money on, if anything. And of course there's that surprise elimination by Cheetah Girl, Sabrina Bryan, and actress Jane Seymour, Soap Stud, now TV host Cameron Matheson, actress Jenny Gard, Marie Osmond, yeah, Mel B was runner-up, and of course Helio won. I don't know, I guess. I don't know, if we were up, really up to the judges, would Floyd have come in ninth, the eliminated fourth? I doubt it, because I'm not sure. Anyway, I thought I would end this segment with um, my uh, my picks for the Tony nominations. Um, <laughs> keep in mind, I haven't, I haven't been to New York in almost 14, over 14 years. Um, so my personal, let's see, I'm going to pick The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime for Best Drama. Best Musical should be, oh, jeez Louise, how about a tie between <laughs> Something Rotten and The Visit. And best Revival should go to The Elephant Man, Best, um, yeah, best Drama Revival. Best musical revival, I'd say The King and I. Best book should go to Terrence McNally for The Visit. Best original score. Eh. Yeah. Oh well. I know it lasted shortly, but I want to give it the sting for the last ship. If, if there's going to be a tie, I guess Candor and Ed for The Visit. Best Actor in the play, Heck Bradley Cooper, The Elephant Man. Um, best Actress, I'd say Elizabeth Moss for The Heidi Chronicles. But I think like it's probably going to go to Ruth Wilson. Maybe Helen. Maybe Helen Mirren is going to get edge out. Yeah.
Yeah, I guess I want Bradley Cooper, but I feel like it's going to be Bill Nye. I want um, Elizabeth Moss, but I think it's going to be either Ruth Wilson or, or maybe most likely Helen Mirren. For musical uh, actor, what Ken Watanabe for The King and I. Best actress. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know, maybe if you go to Cheetah Rivera for the visit, I don't know. For best actor in a featured role in a play, I'm gonna say Alessandro Navola for The Elephant Man. And then for best actress in a featured role, let's see. I don't know, maybe Patricia Clarkson is most likely to. I know Julie White has already won her Tonys in the past. The best actor in a featured role in a musical, I'd say, oh, Christian Ball. Ball, I mean, come on. Smash. Good wife. It's only fair. Something rotten. And then, um, best actress in a featured role in a musical. I know Judy Kuhn is a familiar name. Yeah, Judy Kuhn. What the hell, Emily Skeddick, she's young, she looks young enough, Emily Fish. And, um, for best scenic design, um, Curious Incident of the Dog at the Night, in the Night Time. Or maybe it's going to go to Bob Crowley for Skylight. You know. Best scenic design, what the hell, Bob Crowley for America in Paris. Let's make him a double winner. I mean, it's happened to Kristen Chenoweth and, uh, uh, Audrey McDonald, best costume design of a play, with how Bob Crowley, the audience, <laughs> let's make it a three P. I don't know, best costume design, I would say, Catherine Zuber for The King and I, for best lighting, Curious Incident of the Dog at the Night Time, Holly Constable. Heck, it's possible she could die herself and we one for Curious Dog and another for Wolf Hall. Um, the best lighting designer of a musical, uh, American in Paris. And then um, for best direction of a play, let's see, let me think here. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, Stephen Daldry. For best direction of a musical. Um, Christopher Wheaton for Wielden for American in Paris. For best choreography. Ooh, boy, 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 boy. Christopher Wheaton again for an American in Paris. But for best orchestration, I'm going to say. And American Paris. And of course, congratulations to Tommy Toon, John Cameron Mitchell, Cleveland Playhouse, Stephen Sch Schwartz, Arnold Abramson, Adrian Brian Brown. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Yep. All the Adrian Brian Brown and uh, Gene O'Donovan. Right? Till then.